broadcasting from Ventus, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTL Editorial News for March 23rd, 2010. Next headlines, half a victory for British Airways. You could go like, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because the reason why I say half a victory, both sides are claiming victories. Uh, the ones for the Brit British Airways, the people there, uh, you know, the stockholders, those people, the company, they claiming victory. But the, the cabin crew with the union, they, they claiming victory. And why is that? Now, let's think of the other side. Uh, the ones who's owns uh, British Airways and everything they claiming victory because it did not stop them they still had 78 percent of the long haul and 50 percent of the short haul they say all right yeah we, we still got people who, who still dedicated to the job we don't care we chew them out and, and get on them like uh, we like guys get on um, people in India Say, get going! It's, but anyway, um, the thing is, they claim a victory. On the other hand, the British Airways Union claim a victory. And why is that? Because out of those 443 flights, 210, 201 flights had to be canceled. And it cost them $7 million. Pounds. But also, they had flight cancellations today. Whoa! About a quite a few of them, about a certain percentage, about 42%, I think, of uh, flights uh, canceled. So, they claim a victory. Well, what I'm thinking is to those, my, uh, the workers who work with me at Texas Gulf um, Temporary Services, Mr. Jeff, Mr. Al, and Mr. Dave, the three stooges of, uh, who works for Texas Gulf. Next week, they're about to leave and get on the plane for next week to go back to either um, England, the southern part of England, or United Kingdom, or Glasgow, Scotland, wherever they got to go to. But the thing is, now, here's the news flash. British Airways Union is expecting for some more possible strikes. At, uh, expected for Saturday, they, they're coming up with decisions on having more strikes. Whoa. So, do you know what that means? Uh, for Mr. Jeff, Mr. Al, and Mr. Dave, let's do this. First of all, we're going to um, have a commercial by McDonald's. They do things right. So, in this case, you gentlemen, I know all three of you cannot get on British Airways. So, you're going to come up with a decision. Gentlemen, in America, we call it rock, paper, scissors. In this case, we're going to make it actual because you like things actual. Here's a rock. Here's paper. And here's scissors. What you got to do, this commercial is by McDonald's. They do things right. We put all these ingredients in here. The paper. the scissors, and the rock. You're going to shake it up. You know, in America, we say rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors. In this case, we're going to actually do it for you, gentlemen. You're going to put your hands, put your hands in here, and you're going to come up with something. You know, just like this, in the uh, 
two second plan. Or three seconds. One, two, three. You're going to get paper, scissors, and rock. And so, you know, whoever is the strongest, of course, of all three, uh, get to get on the plane first. The next one will be maybe in four days or so. So, you have fun, gentlemen. Chip, chip. Put a smile on your face, old chap. <laughs> and I'll be right back with my last segment. Maybe you gentlemen can agree with me as I make a deal with the rest of the people on the LTL Editorial News. <laughs>